Just like in other areas of the program, you can configure how the clock editor screen looks in Music Master. The Show Hide Pie View icon gives you the retro pie chart view, along with category and element usage. Also in this panel is the Migrating Positions and Flex Rules Analysis Wizard, new in version 8. As you can see, you can split the screen to display both views. To change the colors of the pie chart to be more meaningful to you, go to Tools, Options, Display Colors. As an example, I will change my stop sets to be a bright red color. If you'd like to add category and element information to the pie slices, go to the clock section of additional properties and add the number one in the pie clocks labels field. Back in the clock editor, you can click the wrench icon to set clock editor options. You can filter what types of elements are displayed in your clock while you're editing. For example, you may choose to hide log notes when editing your music elements. You can also determine which columns you see in your clock editor. Some of these columns, shown under the Properties header, contain icon markers that represent element properties. You can double-click the icons to edit the related properties. For example, when you add a stop set that is a sweep marker, you'll see a red S. If you choose to lock the element or hide it from export, reconciliation, or printing, you'll see a lock icon. If you set a fill song for timing, you'll see a clock icon. You'll see a filter icon when an element has an element filter or a session filter. An element filter calls for a song that meets criteria you set in the element properties. A session filter calls for a song that meets criteria you set later in the auto scheduler, so you can use different criteria each time you schedule. Other columns include the element type, or an element icon which represents the type. The Quick Entry column gives you a place to quickly add and configure new clock elements using simple letter codes. You can look up the codes in Help or hover over the element type in the info bar. You can also check on the Element Counter, which allows you to see a secondary count of all elements that match the type you select in the box below. For example, you could use this to see, at a glance, how many music elements you have in your clock. If you don't see all of these options, make sure you're on the latest version of Music Master.